what do you view as your competitive set and, and how are you different uh, from them, from a kind of a customer experience, customer loyalty perspective? Actually, we t you you hit the nail on the head. We have we consider basically any other place kids spend their time as a competitor. So it even you have your basic ones with which are other um, family entertainment companies, which is obvious. But you also have parks and swim lessons and sports and just being outside. You know when it's nice outside. All of those things take eyes off of us and put kids in other places. So we do have a wide variety of competitors. What's valuable, I think, about Urban Air is that first of all, it is 20, not 24 hours a day, but you can go every day of the year despite weather. So, you know, it is something that is always around and isn't necessarily weather dependent. The variety of attractions that we have within our parks is second to none as far as indoor adventure parks. So kids can get a, a true experience of everything from, you know, go-karts to, you know, the warrior course to the sky rider. Um, they can get a full invigorating experience within the parks. Okay. And it's complemented with a good um, food and beverage program that actually offers uh, really high quality, kid friendly food. Um, so it's really a one stop shop. But I think the biggest differentiator is, is as I mentioned, what it brings to the kids. Um, it isn't just about the play. It's about them challenging themselves to do new things. It's about them making new friends. It's about them building that confidence. And that's what really differentiates us from things like a video game or something else. This is where it, they re really can become the best version of themselves. When I started, we had two different sayings at Joella's. One was, we're the bird that bites back, kind of speaking to our waiver-worthy chicken. And the other is, honey, always do the right thing. And as I looked at our competitive set, you know, we sell hot chicken and our competitors sell hot chicken. At the end of the day, being having hot chicken is just a green fee and something we have to have. So the bird that bites back to me didn't really set us apart from what others were doing in the category. But the idea of honey always do the right thing and this Southern hospitality and Southern experience is something that we could own. So that's really what we've leaned into to set us apart from other hot chicken restaurants as well as other chicken restaurants um, in the broader set of kind of fast food. I think it's kind of two things. One, we're unscripted. We're not, you, we want our people on the bricks and mortar side to be as genuine as possible. So it, you get it, our key is, uh, it comes back to spirit of a quay, which is kind of welcoming and comfortable and relationships with that guest uh, that make a lasting impression with that guest. So I think for us, as we try and differentiate with guest, guest service more than anything, uh, and then make that guest feel like they're part of a family. And as they expand to different, uh, different, plat different uh, entities and different places within the brand, they should still feel that family. We have a very robust competitor set in our business. You know, we have formidable competitors that have great programs also. Um, there's a couple of areas where, you know, I feel we're a little bit different. Uh, one is, as I just mentioned, you know, the opportunity for consumers to earn and burn their points uh, on the sea store and car wash side. You know, we think that serves us well and serves our consumers and our branded wholesalers well. Uh, the other point I might call out is uh, we, we've got a, a tradition of innovation. Uh, and so our steps for the coming years are already in motion. Uh, in terms of evaluation and in terms of what we feel will hit the market best and when. Um, so I would say forward planning and, you know, in the moment, the backcourt side of our program uh, are unique. So we're in a highly fragmented industry. There's 35,000 dermatologists, plastic surgeons, med spas. So we're the largest, you know, with 150 locations, we're far and away the largest, you know, point of care network out there. So I look at it as highly fragmented. And it's why we're building a, a health and wellness brand. You know, I, you know, there's, there's, I, you know, we can all name uh, what what they are. But as you look at what's going on with Calm or Talkspace or you know, we can go, you know, Teladoc or various things. You know, we're really creating a brand in in, in this aesthetics and wellness space uh, as a one-stop shop for for all things. And 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 then having this digital moat of being great on the digital front and the consumer experience front, um, you know, really. 
um, that we think is going to be a, a really big differentiator, uh, you know, from a from a consumer experience and loyalty perspective.